Hello guys and welcome to When in Halifax and today I'm going to discuss about Federal Skilled Worker. Um, I'm going to show to you guys on, on the website on how to fill up forms and say hello to Sean. Yeah. <laughs> and then Kylie so Pansit Canton. Oh, I'm the best daddy, so yeah. So anyway, um, you finish your food first. I'm going to discuss. Okay, you know, finish your food. Bye. Okay. So don't... Subscribe to Kalshan TV. Okay, so subscribe to Kalshan. Subscribe to their um, YouTube channel, Kalshan TV. All right. Click the bell. Click the bell. So back to work. Okay. So today I'm going to discuss to you guys. I'm going to show you the sc my screen on how to fill up forms for federal skilled worker. So okay. So first thing, of course, I'll start from. So to, um, we will start from the typing Canada. Canada.ca. So this will be the first page. Uh, so you, of course we're going to select for English. Then, uh, English. And then there's a uh, several menu. Menu. Just click immigration, and then click immigrate. And then once you are here in the immigrate to Canada. There's a lot of options again. Um, just click Express Entry. And then once you are here in the Immigrate through Express Entry, um, choose first thing is I'm going to discuss how, how Express Entry works. And then I'll discuss all this. Get the documents needed. Submit your express entry profile. Apply for primary address and if you are invited. If your application is approved, I'm going to discuss all, all of this. So just bear with me with this video. So, but we were going to start from this first option. How express entry works. So once you are here and how express, how express entry works, it has four steps. The first step is find out if you're eligible. Step two, get your documents ready. Step three, submit your profile. In step four, you receive an invitation and apply for permanent residence. Um, so with, with this, um, let's say you are eligible. So this will be the flow. Um, you will identify yourself first if you're eligible to apply. Then once you are eligible, once you identify yourself that you are eligible to apply, you need to get your documents, prepare all, all your documents, and then once your document is ready, you need to submit um, your profile. So you're going to create a CIC profile, submit all the documents, and then once you submit it, you need to wait, and then you will receive an invitation to apply. So I just want to emphasize the step four we see we send an invitation to apply to the candidates with the highest score in the pool if we invite you to apply you have 60 days to submit your application for permanent residence um well we we will process most complete applications that all the supporting documents in less than in six months or less so that's why on step two, get the documents ready. It is very important that all the documents that is needed are ready and available. Okay, so we go back again. Step one, find out if you are eligible. Um, there's two options for step two. Answer a few questions to see if you meet a minimum requirements. And the other option is read the detail required for each program so what's the difference between these two the first one is like an electronic form 
it's like uh, there's a questions that you need to fill up but the end of the form they will identify your CRS point so at the end of the form after you finish all the filling up the forms you will identify if you're eligible or not eligible um, it's very important that when you use, use this electronic form you already have your English test you already have your ECA uh, it's either the I class or West before you fill up this form so that this electronic form will accurately um, get, uh, give you the accurate score so for the meantime if you don't have this uh, you don't have the IELTS result you don't have the ECA uh, let's go to the second option the second option is just read the detailed requirements all right so eligibility for express entry um, there's three types the Federal Skilled Worker Program, the Federal Skilled Trade Program, and Canadian Exp Experience Class. I will not discuss this second and third options. I'll just focus on Federal Skilled Worker Program. Yam po yung entry natin. That's my entry. So I'll just click this one Federal Skilled Worker. Who can apply? as a federal skilled worker express entry so first what is the minimum requirements the minimum requirements is you work your work experience um, it should be on a primary NOC it should be listed in the primary NOC and you should be working within last 10 years okay so they are the they, they have different types of skilled worker there are skill type zero skill level a or b so we will go to um and i'm going to discuss the noc later so the requirements is you should at least okay at least one year of experience how can you say that it's one year it should be equal of 150 100 sorry 1560 hours total or 30 hours per week continuous uh, you should be it should be a full-time job so how how can you say that it's a full-time job it's a full-time job if you are working 30 hours per week for 12 months one year full-time uh, or equal amount in part-time which is 15 hours per week for 24 months, one year full time, 1,560 hours. Full time at one at one more than one job, 30 hours per week for 12 months at more than one job or one year full time, 1,560. The bottom line of this is at least you have one year, at least one year full time job that is equivalent to 1560 hours okay if you are beyond okay beyond these hours and then you have you are eligible uh, you you have the the the, the minimum um, required for for this and now the question is what is my noc okay so what is my noc so uh, we will click the, the National Occupation Classification. So how can we use this one? So there, there are skills, okay? So there are five skills level, the type zero, type uh, skills level A, B, C, and D. So there's five. So for type, skill type zero, restaurant managers, uh, shore captain, fishing, mine managers, Skill level A are doctor, dentist, and architects. Skill level B will be chef, plumbers, electricians. Skill level C are industrial butchers, um, food beverage servers, and skill level D is food pickers, cleaning staff, oil field workers. So I'll just give you one example of NOC. Like for, for me, I am a registered nurse. So I'll just go at the very end of this page. I'll just type, just type your employment um, title 
for me I'm a registered nurse just type registered nurse and you will see all of this now you will see one two three four five six just choose the best um, option that describe to your current work so for me I am a registered nurse okay I'm registered nurse so you will see all the description so do you think you are suitable to this example titles nurse consultant intensive care registered nurse public health nurse community health nurse critical care nurse clinical nurse so if you are within these titles and not, and your NOC is 3012 all right so let's go back again to the steps so now um, so now you already know what is your NOC you already know what is your required um, employment we will go now to lang language ability test with the language test um, you need to prove that you you are elite uh, you know how to communicate it's the basic requirement so the question is um, what is the minimum requirements um, the federal skilled worker the requirements is C CLB 7 we already discussed about the skilled work experience and now we will go to the language ability the language ability is this this will going to prove your language so i already discussed it on the previous video that english test is one of the requirements so i'm going to discuss um, more brief more 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 um deep on about the language test so the language test there's only two accredited language tests that you need to take the self tape and the IELTS um, self tape I don't believe or I don't think that it's available in, in the Philippines but for sure IELTS is available in the Philippines so there's two type of IELTS two types of IELTS the academic and general training the question which which of the two you need to take the general training okay the general training again you need to take the general training for IELTS and then what is the minimum score for IELTS you need to have at least CLB 7 CLB 7 so what is the 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 um, the specific score for speaking to get the CLB minimum 7 to get the CLB 7 you need to get for speaking you need 6 for listening you need to get 7 for reading you need to get 6 and for writing you need to get 6 okay so that's the minimum score for IELTS again under two types of IELTS academic and general training you need to get the general training and the minimum the minimum CLB CLB score is 7 all right so oh, it's always remember that uh, to get the CLB 7 you need to get the the score 6 6 6 and 7 7 is the listening all right so second is edge uh, the third one is education the education if you went to school in Canada, you must have a certificate or diploma or degree from Canadian, which is, I believe, um, you are not from Canada. So, I think you are from foreign education, okay? Because, you, for example, if you're from Philippines or for other, from other country, you are a foreign education, okay? So, if you are foreign education, if you have a foreign education, you need an ECA. ECA is Education Credential Assessment Report. So we have, I think, two or three approved agencies. So let's click to this. So for ECA, your assessment may help when you're looking for a job, but it doesn't guarantee. Um, if you are planned to work in a regulated job, 
you must get your license in province or territory. So this is applicable, for example, if you're a nurse. See, di, uh, dito po yan. Um, Eka. What is, what the report? How to get one. Let's say how to get one. Okay, so you must one of this designated organization. So there are one, two, three, four, five. Way back 2016 when I applied for this, uh, it's only the West and the ICAS. Okay, and I choose the ICAS. ICAS stands for International Credential Assessment Service of Canada, ICAS. And then, and West. And now there is one, two, three. <laughs> so, so I will not discuss try to explore these things guys but with with me I, I use the ICAS service so when you click ICAS when you click this link you will see this um, the, their website so I maybe I will make a separate video for this the bottom line is um, to know your education level you need to submit submit doc submit the documents and it will be evaluated by this accredited organization so for me i personally um I, I use the icast and then selection factors if you meet all the conditions set out the minimum requirements we will assess your application based on these factors so your age, your education, your work experience, whether you have a valid job offer, English language, and adaptability, how well you're likely to settle here. So the factor are part of 100 points. You earn points for how well you do in the each of six factors. Your total points will show if you're qualified for express entry point. The current passing mark is 67 points. And then, we have proof of funds. I already made this uh, this video about proof of funds, so you will again um, give in a little bit of information about the proof of funds. So proof of funds, um, I will discuss this composition of family. So the bottom line of the proof of funds again, the purpose of this is to prove to the immigration that you can settle here in Canada, you can provide your family a shelter, food, the basic needs for several months that you cannot find job or let's say you are not able to find job, you, are, you can provide your family. So you are not liabilities but you are an asset, okay? So let's say for example your four composition, four composition means you and your wife and your two kids. So you need to bring 23,181 Canadian dollars. So this one, um, I already discussed it that you can bring this one, maybe uh, you can bring it cash, you can bring it bank check. For me, I, I bought the, the, the cash, uh, I bought the show money in bank check. Okay, so principal applicant, um, you can be your princip you can be a principal applicant and um, you can apply for your common law partners so which means so for example i am the principal um, i can apply together with my wife and my kids but you're the principal principal applicant should be one of your most likely to meet the eligible requirements so if you have your wife you decide uh, which one of you has the eligible eligible requirement. Earn the points in the selection uh, factors. Earn the most points under the comprehensive ranking system of express entry. So if you're both working, um, you decide which which one is the highest um, points between of you. Okay, um, and that's it, guys. So these are the who can apply for federal skilled worker, um, skilled express, uh, skilled work experience, language ability, education, selection factors, proof of brand, proof of funds, and principal applicants. So that's it, guys. And we go need we need to go back to the step two.
So, what are the documents for express entry that you needed? First is the passport or travel document. So, the passport or travel document, my best advice is make sure that your passport is valid. So, make sure that it is valid for five years. Okay? And the language test, uh, it should be valid. And I am... Um, I'm not sure, but I think um, IELTS is valid for two years. So make sure when you submit all your documents, it's valid for two years. ECA, um, again, I already forgot, but I think ECA is good for two years or I think three years. So um, if you know uh, what's the expiration of ECA, please comment it below, guys. But as long as I remember, ECA is for two years. Uh, valid for two years and language test is for two years too. So anyway um, you, What are the documents that you needed first is the passport language test or the IELTS result Education credential assessment report. This is the ICAS the West. So okay, so you're applying for federal skill work room or you want to get points for education You got outside Canada Provincial nominee, uh, provincial nomination. If you have one, a uh, provincial nomination. If you apply to provincial nominee here in Nova Scotia, Saskatchewan, or Quebec, you need the document from them. Written job offer. If you have a job offer here in Canada, you need this document. And other document um, that you need copy is the police certificate, medical exams, and proof of funds. So let's discuss about police certificate. So in the Philippines, the police certificate is from the NBI. So with NBI, I want you guys to remember that you need to put the purpose. The purpose is I what I put is travel to Canada. Okay? So let's see here. <laughs> Hi Sean. So, you must include your police certificate when you apply for permanent residence. Your online system will ask your police certificate, you and your family members who are 18 years old or older. Okay. So, anyway, so I think that's it. So, if you have any questions with regards to police clearance, just comment it below, guys. But as, as, as I remember guys, um, I go to the NBI, clear, uh, NBI office in Naga and then we, we ask for NBI certificate and then I ask for my wife and for myself an NBI and don't forget, my best advice is don't forget to put the purpose of the request. So you need to put um, travel abroad, I think travel to abroad Canada, something like that. So with medical examination, I think you will you will have a medical examination once you are invited. So you don't worry about this. So once you have medical uh, medical exam, definitely you have 80% chances because what happened to me uh, that's my last step medical um, examination after medical examination the uh, immigration already asked for our passport and then after several weeks they return our passport with the visa it's like a sticker they put it in the passport then after that um yeah after that i book for a ticket so once you have medical exam 80 percent definitely you're good to go again <laughs> you're good to go here in canada so proof of funds i already discussed this so you can bring the cash from your country or from the Philippines through cash uh, but uh, always remember that you need to declare that you are bringing above because you, you need to declare you need to declare um, 10,000 US dollars above 10,000 US dollars you need to declare okay so so that's it for the document for Express N3 and we will go to the step three submit your profile um i will not discuss this because um let's check
So this is more on what is your marital status and you need to calculate. So let's let's just try, okay? Let's try. Um, use this tool if you have not filled at express entry profile. You would like to see what comprehensive score might be if you do. Or you were invited uh, to apply for permanence and you want to see if a change to profile may affect your CRS score. You need to make sure that your CRS score is above the minimum points of your round of invitation, okay? So let's say uh, marital status is married. And what is your common law by citizen or permit? No. Will, will your spouse or common law partner come with you in Canada? Let's say yes. How old are you? Um, choose the best. If you've been invited to apply, enter the age you date you're invited. If you plan to complete the express entry, enter the current date. So let's say I am my current age. This is not my current age. <laughs> So this is 34. And what is the level of education? Enter the highest level of education for which you earned in Canadian degree, diploma, or certificate, or had an ECA. Did your study outside Canada? ECA must be from the approved agency. So from here, you see this option, guys. All of these options, you you, you can easily identify this because the ECA will identify the ECA will assess your educational level and your educational level will correspond to this. For me, I am bachelor's degree, uh, but in the bachelor of science of nursing, uh, my equivalent, my equivalent bachelor is bachelor's degree, three or more year program at the university. So that's my, my, my equivalent in Canada, Canada education. Have you earned a Canadian degree or diploma certificate? Of, have you earned a Canadian? No, I don't have a. Uh, I'm a foreigner, so official language can, can Canada official language are English. Are the test result less than two years old? So that's all. I'm already told you guys that you need to make sure that your IELTS is valid for two years. So the question here. Are your test result less than two years? Okay, so of course you say yes. Which language test do you take? So the option is CELPIP. CELPIP is Canadian English. IELTS is International English. And TEF is for French. So you have only two options. And what I already told you guys, CELPIP, I think, I'm not sure. It's not available in the Philippines, only IELTS. So what's the score? I already told you guys the IELTS should be six 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 and seven and the seven is listening so let's put seven here and the rest let's say six six but my best advice with regards to english test is to get the highest score as possible if you can get more than six much better because it can help your total points do you have other language no. Um, this part 3, they're asking about your if you're, if you're able to speak uh, French. So what is your NOC? So I already showed to you guys on how to fill up for NOC. So if you don't know how to, to if you don't know your NOC number, uh, try to click on this link. Find your NOC. But since I already know my NOC, let's say I have four years because let's say I'm currently employed. In the last 10 years, how many total years of skilled work experience? Three years or more. I have more than experience because I'm currently employed. I, I started, let's say I started my work from 2008. So it's more than 10 years. And then the question is, how many total years of skilled work experience do you have? So the only option is one year, two years, and three years. Let's say three, more than three years. Do you have a certificate of qualification from a Canadian province or territory or federal body? A certificate of qualification let people work in some skilled trades in Canada. Only the province, territories, and federal body can issue this certificate. So I think it is, this isn't the same as nomination. No, we don't have this one. 
So do you have a valid job offer? No, we don't have job offer. Do you have an amazing certificate? No, we don't have. Do you or your spouse common law partner if they have, will come to, with you to Canada? Have at least one brother or sister living in Canada who is a citizen or permanent? So do you have a family, a siblings or, um, or brother or sister related to you? So no. What is the highest level of education? Okay. Uh, what is the highest education of your spouse or earned a Canadian or had ECA uh, session? ECA must be from an approved. To get the correct num uh, number of points, make sure you choose the answer the best reflect. For example, if you have two bachelor's degree, one bachelor and year diploma, two years, it must be program. Um, with this number 11, I am not sure if you need your your spouse to get an ECA uh, because with our situation, um, I just, it's on, uh, only, I think only me, <laughs> it's only, I think I, or I just, uh, I just apply myself an ECA but I didn't apply for ECA for my wife. So let's say your wife has a bachelor's degree. In the last 10 years, um, skilled work in Canada, your spouse will learn. In Canada, so since my wife is in the Philippines, so. <laughs> Did your spouse or partner take a language? Yes. Uh, I, or, I already advised to you guys that your spouse. <laughs> Uh, always uh, should take an IELTS to, to, to help you to get a high score too, alright? So let's say again, your spouse get the score. Um, uh, 6667. Okay, so now we're done. Uh, so we're done with this computation. We will see what is our CRS score, okay? So as you can see in this tool, we can identify our CRS um, score. Um, I am um, on this scenario is that your your wife is a bachelor's degree, both of you have um, IELTS, and your score is six, 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 and seven. 7 is the listening and the rest are 6. And then your experience is more than 3 years. And then your work experience is more than 4 years. Okay. Um, and that's it. Let's see what will happen. Calculate your score. Okay. All express entry candidates get a score of 1,200 based on our 4 parts of comprehensive ranking system formula. We invite the highest ranking candidates from the pool to apply as a permanent resident through a regular rounds of invitation. See what the minimum score have been in the past. Core human capital factor, what's this? 314, spouse is 20, skills is 83, and the comprehensive ranking system for formula is 422. So my grand total is 422. So that's my total points. So let we will see what's the total score. Okay. So this is the total score. This is the total score, guys. Okay. I'm going to get this. Um, I'm going to share this page, and I'll post it, guys, in the comment below so that you can check, guys. Okay. Um, I don't know how to put this. So anyway, I'll be back. Uh, let's go back again. Um, okay, so this is submit your profile. Check your score. We already checked our score. Our score is 422. And then let's go to step receive an invitation. So if you are uh, invited, 
you already submit submit your profile so let's go you already check your profile and you want to submit your application right so find out if you're available uh, find out if you're eligible create your express entry profile so this is the section that you need to create for your express entry express entry profile okay and oc you may exit the profile at any time your mission will be saved in your account so um i will not make an in any account because i think we're not allowed to do so anyway i will end this video through 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 this step one two and three and four so i hope you guys are able to discuss everything and i hope um uh, i able to help you to help you guys for every uh everything so if you have question please comment it below um looking forward for your question guys thank you guys and bye bye